Are you always feeling like you're low energy? Do you rely on multiple cups of coffee just to get you through the day? And do you maybe get a good sleep, but find that you wake up still tired? Well, guess what? You're probably low in iron. If you comment below, I'm gonna send you a static hold program that's guaranteed to help you build new muscles. So comment below static and I'll send it right directly to you. In today's video, I'll teach you how to find out if you are low in iron, what foods you need to eat in order to increase your iron, and what supplements that you should be taking. And before I go on guys, if you're looking for nutrition coaching and you wanna be able to attack this low iron problem, we do that in our belly burn challenge, so visit us at www.fitclub.fit. First off, how do you know if you are low in iron? Well, women can lose up to two milligrams of iron a day when she's on her period, even up to 50 milligrams on a total cycle. So what happens is fatigue kicks in, weakness, you could be getting headaches, your skin could look pale, and you could have shortness of breath due to the lack of oxygen delivery. So what iron does is it helps transport oxygen to the working muscles. So what you can do is you can look into your MyFitnessPal. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then contact us, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. But if you already track your food, then what you wanna do is go into your nutrients tab and you're gonna make sure that you're hitting 100% of your daily iron goals. Now you'd be surprised because even myself, when I went in there and I did a little bit more research on how important iron was, even just to me as a male, I was only hitting 40%. And so I started supplementation. What supplements should you take? Well, if you go to Amazon and you look up iron, the cheapest and most simplest one that I found was a 28 milligram form called ferrous glycinate. And between the ferrous glycinate, that's the easiest one that's easier to absorb, but it also is gonna cause less stomach aches. Now, what could happen if you take too much of a supplement? So let's say that you are eating the right foods and you're close to your, your, your iron goals. Well, you can either cut the pill in half, it's a very small pill, or just take the pill. And if you feel any type of stomach aches, then you might wanna reduce the dose. But for the cost, and you get 90 caps on Amazon, it's only 10 bucks. So my recommendation for you is just take one a day at the same time throughout the day. At least it's in your system and you're guaranteed to hit your iron goals. So what food should you be eating? Well, my recommendation is that you incorporate three ounces of red meat into your daily intake. Red meat has the highest absorbability. It also has the highest milligrams per grams of food that you can actually eat. So for three ounces of red meat, you're gonna be provided with two to three milligrams, but you require anywhere from 18 to 22, so it's a small drop of the bucket. Now you don't have to eat red meat three times a day, and in fact, I don't suggest it. So there's other ways that you can incorporate and get more iron into your daily diet. The second is spinach. So spinach provides a good boost of iron, but the difference between a vegetable and a red meat product is the vegetable product, it doesn't get absorbed into your body as easily as the red meat. So if you do wanna boost your iron numbers and you wanna get it from other sources outside of meat, well, then I would suggest that you do the green shake that I put a previous video about, where you just take a handful of spinach, anywhere from 40 to 50 grams of spinach, mix in some collagen, your greens, your EAAs for muscle recovery. I now do Greek yogurt to boost my protein count and make it more of a meal. Water, ice, super simple, okay? The third is any type of poultry. So chicken products are gonna provide you with a good boost of, of iron, but it's not gonna be as high as the red meat. But through a multifacet, and you don't wanna eat the same thing every day, incorporate some type of red meat, do your spinach drink or a salad, and then some type of poultry, whether that be chicken breast or chicken thighs. Now what I've done is I've created a video in the past where I break it down exactly what's happening when you're low iron and how the iron works to transport oxygen to your working muscles. I didn't wanna go into that today. All I wanted to do is get you the information of how do you know in simple terms that if you're low iron, what supplements you should take or what supplement you should take, right? The simple one on Amazon. And the last, which foods you should be incorporating into your daily intake. Now, if you're looking for a more detailed plan, more nutrition plan that's gonna help you to make sure that you're not feeling fatigued, that you're getting headaches, et cetera, et cetera, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit. 
mention the belly burn, and then we'll do an assessment and we'll get you started today.